Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to a Better Me series. It is my hope and prayer that all will be well with you today. That the Lord has allowed us to see on today. Beautiful, sunny, crisp day. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I come in the name of Jesus with thanksgiving and praise for who you are and what you do. As we venture in to this season of celebration, may we reflect on the real reason, which is to redeem us and make us acceptable unto you. Giving us new life and hope to all through our Savior Jesus Christ. Although many don't celebrate it, but one day every knee shall bow and confess that you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We ask always that you will render unto the needs of all whatever your will and purpose is for us. We know that whatever you do, it is what's best. All of these blessings and favors I ask in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Our subject to ponder today is why he came to this world. And uh, we often heard the statement that it doesn't matter what man thinks of us, only what God thinks of us matters. Well, man may give us a better break than what God actually knows. When we, when in truth, we should be ashamed of what God saw in us. This is what the Bible says about what God sees in us. He describes us in Isaiah 64 and 6. All of us have become like one who is unclean and all our righteous acts are like filthy rags. We shall shrivel up like a leaf, and like the wind, our sins sweep us away. In Jeremiah 17, 9, New King James Version. The heart of is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, such the heart. I test the mind even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruits of his ways. So now, where did this delusion come from that he saw the best in us? Where y'all found that at in the Bible? I haven't seen it. If it's in there and if somebody would put it in the Comments, 
so I can find it, I will be happy to read it. But seriously, this is the biggest deception ever planted by Satan in our heads. And we actually believed that at one point that God saw the best in us. We even sang about it at one point. Wow. See how cunning the devil is? That's why we must be vigilant and sober. That's why God sent his only begotten son, Jesus, who is his best to redeem us and to make us acceptable unto him. He did not see the best in us. That's why he did what he did. And the reason for this season, Christmas, is to celebrate the birth of the Messiah, our Savior, Jesus. And sadly, the devil has seen fit to overshadow and distract our minds from it by commercializing it and drawing our attention away from the real reason. Just as we do when we fail to recognize that the best that is displayed in us, if there be any, is not us, but who is in us. First John 4 and 4 B and C says, Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Let us never forget the good in us is not us, but Christ that dwells within us. Give him the glory for what he has done within us. It is not us. He is the captain of this ship and the master of this soul. He is the best. in us. And with that being said today, I would like to wish you all a merry, blessed, and safe Christmas. I love you. And until next time, if the Lord allows, God be with you.